I must admit, being here for two days, I'm amazed. These artists, from Agam till Mark, have they got something in common, all of them? The common thing among them the, is that they are all very talented and very successful, and they can sell out. Uh, they work with a gallery in the States called Park West Gallery, which I'm uh, cooperating with for over 20 years. And ever since, I have printed over 1,000 different editions of over 50 different artists. And you mentioned Agam, but among them are other artists such as Tarkai, of course, um, Peter Max, Anatol Krasniansky, Igor Medvedev, Linda Lekinf. The meaning of printing those artists is not just a technical process. You have to be connected with the artist. You have to understand what he was doing and you have to obey to what he wants to achieve with the work that we are doing. I would say that it's a complicated business, but in addition, uh, we run a few studios of artists, which we are fortunate to have just in our facility. So, uh, in that case, we are really working shoulder to shoulder with the artists. So, this is the, the nature of our business. Okay, the reason why we started here is because this room is the center of the building. Basically, everything was surrounding this room. This is the room of the late Yitzhak Tarkai. We lost him four months ago. And I just remember the last time when I visited with him, Albert, in the States. And we had great time and enjoyed the, the visit. He, he loved being in, in the States. But he told me then, he told me, you know, the place I love the most is my studio in Israel. I don't want to speak too much about his art. There are people here that will do it far better than me. But about his personality, he was a man of, I would say, peace and love. On his funeral, I met maybe two, three hundred people that loved him so much as if he was their own father. And I think that he loved them back. He had this ability to love people and to get love back and the same with his art. So this is what I can say about his art, that people just love it. Tarkai he was my best friend. He, so he was a women painter. All the time he invited me to come to paint models and all this stuff. And after he passed away, I just want to release this. I missed him, so... I decide to release it. I don't know for which reasons. This and another one. He was in, he was in America, and he was at the studio of, of, of an artist, an American artist, and he sees these tiles, these boards. They're actually made of tile. And he went crazy on them. And he started drawing and making little things, and he says, please, please, anything, i do anything for you. Can you have me some of those tiles? By the time he was in Israel, they were waiting for him in boxes. And when I would come and visit, he always would have these tiles here. And when he drew, he was like, a, he was so beautiful in, in the sense that he could take his pen, and, and I, I mentioned this in his catalog, and the drawing would flow like Lautrec. What I love about both Agam and Tarkai, is, now Agam is a, is a major master, and I believe Tarkai is also a master. but. The, the reality is both of them loved nurturing other artists. So the fact that Tarkai decided to leave his studio in Tel Aviv, he had a beautiful studio in Tel Aviv, and toward the last, I'd say, five years, he hardly painted there at all. All of his time was here. Why? Mark Konovich was here, Yuval Wolfson was here, and David Najjar was here, and Agam was here from time to time, quite often. And the interaction was pretty spectacular.